Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss on the requirements and prototypes of the project that we are going to develop in later on videos. The project that we are going to develop is Dogs Management System. For every project that you develop or that you involved in, there would be several phases starting from requirements until the deployment and maintenance. Similarly, we would start our project with requirements. Okay, For the dogs management system, let me write a requirement one. The system shall be able to add dog or add dogs. So how the system will be able to add the dogs by entering the dog information. Okay, so this is an ambiguous requirement because you said you, you by entering the dog information, you didn't specify what information is that. Okay, but uh, my requirement is by using dog ID, dog name, and dog breed. Okay, the system shall be able to add dogs by entering the dog information, and the information is given here. Okay, in the second requirement, the system shall be able to edit the dog information. edit the dog information. Here, what do you mean by the information? I don't want to edit based on the ID. I want to edit based on only the dog name and dog breed. I'm writing my third requirement. The system shall be able to view the dogs that are stored in the database. Okay, so we will be storing some dogs and we would like to view those dogs. Okay, so before I think I would put this as R2 and this as R3. Because after we view, then only we would be able to edit it, right? So that's a kind of a logical thing. And I have a requirement for that the system shall be able to uh, delete the dog. based on the ID and the name, okay? So ID is kind of like a primary key. We know that there would be only one ID with that particular dog, one dog only with that uh, one, uh, only one dog with a given ID, whereas for a name, you can have any number of dogs. So that means your requirement is asking you to specify that. So I would suggest uh, to delete all the dogs with same name, okay, based on the ID and delete all the dogs with same name, okay. I would put uh, or option because either they would delete with ID or they would delete with uh, dogs with same name. And R5 requirement, the system shall be able to search the dog based on the ID. Okay, so basically these are my requirements that I would like to implement 
uh, in my dogs management system in the later on videos. So the system shall be able to add dogs by entering the dog information. Okay. The system shall be able to view the dogs that are stored in the database. Okay. So whenever you view, what do you want to view? You want to view just the dog name or do you want to view the just the dog breed as well? Or do you want to have some more information there? Okay, that is ambiguous. I want to keep it like ambiguous for the second requirement. Um, for R3, the system shall be able to edit the dog name and dog breed, and we don't want to edit the dog ID. So, and some of you might have a question, can we write, we don't want to edit by dog ID. It's always required to write a requirement. Do not start with not. Okay, so for example, if you if you write with not, that means it could be do, done with dog age also, but dog age is not part of your requirement. So it's always better to say what you want to do rather than what you don't want to do. Okay, so the, the, the system shall be fourth requirement. The system shall be able to delete dog based on the ID or delete all the dogs with same name. So that means if you have a dog ID with the dog ID one, you can delete that uh, whole dog. And if you have a uh, dog name puppy and puppy twice for dog ID one and dog ID 13, you want to delete with puppy all the puppies in your database, you would be deleting that. The system shall be able to search the dog based on the ID, okay? I want to search who is number 77, okay? So based on that, you would be able to identify the dog, okay? So the system shall be able to search the dog based on the ID and display the information and display the ID, name and breed, okay? So this requirement is uh, consistent here, no, not ambiguous at all, okay? So basically you could see some of these would be inconsistent based on what I'm going to show that in the prototypes, okay? So in the first step, no matter whatever the project that you are going to develop, make sure you write your requirements, spell out clearly what you are going to do. And the next step is prototypes, okay? So I have already de designed the prototypes uh, using Adobe XD and let me open this here. So you could use this. So this is my first page, home page or welcome page. Welcome to dogs management system. Again, don't think that this is a great design in the world. This might be the worst design that you are ever seeing, but at least take it as granted for what we are doing now. Okay. So I have a search button, uh, sorry, a text box with the ID that I'm going to type and click on the search. I have an add new dog and then view or modify or delete dogs. Would that satisfy all my requirements? Okay, so I'm able to add the dogs. I'm able to search the dog. I'm able to uh, edit. I'm able to view, edit, and delete the dogs. Okay, so that satisfied all my requirements at least. Okay, so first of all, in order to search something, I have to add the dog. So let me add a new dog. I'm going to enter all these details and then add new dog. After that, it's returning here. Remember, you didn't see a confirmation message here, which is a bad design, okay? So, so basically now the dog has been added. The confirmation message was not there and it came back to the home page. Now, if you want to view the dogs, so the dogs are viewed in the same way, okay? So what's your um, thing here? The system shall be able to view the dogs that are stored in the database, but we didn't specify the format. Okay, we didn't specify the format. What format is, you know, it has to, I mean, as a, if it is a good requirement, you have to specify the format, okay? It has to be specified in, it has to be displayed in a, a tabular format under this. And you know, sometimes it is okay for you to insert a simple table here to tell how you want to do that, okay? So let's say ID, uh, name, breed, and then edit.
delete. Okay, so ID one dot boxer breed chi chi edit delete. Um, I want to be this underline and the blue color because I want to be it uh, like a URLs. Okay, and I might have ID five Rex Greyhound. Okay, so I would like to see in this format at least. So it's always good to specify the formats. So that you are communicating with your developers very easily. Okay, so this is how I would like to see. Um, and then, once I view, if I click edit, I would be able to edit based on my this one and this one, uh, my dog name and dog breed. Okay, so I would be able to do this. And then when I click submit, it should be able to tell that dog has been updated with this values okay so these values has been updated that should be able to show so that screen was not shown here that's fine um, so again you would be able to specify that as well so i i hope you understand what uh, i was trying to tell you um and uh, if i want to delete a dog so basically i deleted that particular dog and came back here okay so came back to the home page so this way you would be able to know on what page you are in on what you have done on what page you resulted with what are the error messages what are the confirmation messages that are there all has to be presented in a, a prototype and these prototypes have prepared on purpose that it's not a good design because we will be developing a better design after we develop a project. So if we develop in the beginning, you call it as a pre-usability. When you do, when you when you actually test before you actually develop the project, you call it as a pre-usability thing. Whereas if you develop a proto, if you modify the prototypes and you test after the implement actual implementation, you call it as a post-usability testing. Okay. So we will see the better prototypes later on after we develop the project okay so yeah we have developed this so basically in this video you would be able to see how to write requirements and how to design prototypes and if you don't know how to do the xd adobe xd you could draw in a simple paper prototypes okay maybe i will be doing the paper prototype later on uh, after we done the final project okay so after we finish all the dog ma dogs management system okay so after this we will st actually start developing the project based on these requirements and based on the prototypes what you have seen okay uh, thank you for watching this